In an era of rapid technological advancement, more and more electronic devices are being invented and manufactured. We live in a world that demands technology, in our work, studies, and even in our leisure time. We need mobile phones, laptops, copiers, stereos, appliances, and other devices. Although electronics have a short useful life, they only last for a year, a month, a week, or even a day. And sometimes, even if they're still working just fine, we seek the latest version that provides additional features which are irresistible. However, do you ever wonder where these electronic devices were placed when we can no longer use them? What do we call this rubbish? These are known as e-waste or electronic waste. These are simply discarded or not in use electronic or electrical gadgets or their parts. Electronic waste has been around for a very long time, however, the need for proper disposal of electronic waste began in the mid-70s. Soon thereafter, the United States passed the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act RCRA. This law makes it illegal to dump electronic waste in the United States. Thus, recycling and proper disposal began. Did you know that for every million cell phones that are recycled, 35,274 pounds of copper, 772 pounds of silver, 75 pounds of gold, and 33 pounds of palladium can be recovered according to the United States Environmental Protection Agency? Palladium is a precious metal used for making electrical contacts as well as surgical instruments and parts for watches. And we know that every year, the number of e-waste gets longer and longer. Unfortunately, approximately 21 million tons of electronic waste were thrown out only this year 2022. Are you one of those who have compulsive hoarding habits? Or are fond of keeping old gadgets and other electronic devices for years without using them? Oh, Without you realizing, these electronic devices contain toxic chemicals like lead, arsenic, mercury, and cadmium. Danger can come from inhalation of toxic fumes as well as accumulation of chemicals in soil, water, and food. How could that happen? They can leak into our environment and cause long-term some people throw their e-waste on the regular trash and thus they'll be buried at a landfill and will pollute the land and water in the process called leaching. This will contaminate the fruit and vegetables we eat as well as the plants eaten by animals that will serve as our meal also. That does not stop there. It continues to the groundwater and the sources of all the fresh water in the surrounding area. Yes, that sounds too dangerous, right? What if we give it to the recycling industry? This can be good, but you can't be sure because Some companies take the discarded electrical products to their process plant in a shredding process where strong magnets remove various metals such as steel and non-metallic metals are collected using electronic currents. But most of the time, electronic waste is exported to countries like China, Nigeria and India where workers extract precious metals from the discarded electronics through the combustion process. These recycling activities pose a high risk to human health. It includes acute lung damage from the inhalation fumes of heavy metals and it creates fine particulate matter which is linked to pulmonary and cardiovascular disease. And of course, this particulate matter is the key indicator of air pollution. Let us remember that it is not only our environment we are trying to save here, but also our lives. So what can we do about it? First, if we have items that are still in good condition, we can use them or donate them to someone else if you don't need them. Second, take them to a dedicated e-waste recycling facility where they will be recycled properly. And third, educate people about how important recycling is for e-waste. Go on, the world must hear it.